So what is going on with broadcast TV? Is it still worth the time and money? You know, nobody will argue that distribution channels for television are evolving. Historically, consumers only had two choices for TV. They can watch it over the air or they can bring it in with cable. And with so many consumers cutting the cord and watching programs on Hulu, Roku, Netflix, or Prime, the big question is this, is it still worth the money to run your ads on a local broadcast TV station? Well, I believe yes. Even with the change in consumer viewing habits, there are still some great programming options on your local TV station that can really help you build your brand and drive traffic to your store. Now specifically, I believe there are four types of programming that you should consider using. The first, live local news, national news, news magazines, and sports. You know, these programming options are still watched live as it happens. Very few people out there are gonna watch or stream on demand local news after the fact. The same goes for national news and news magazines like 60 Minutes, 2020, Dateline, or Entertainment Tonight. You know, consumers are still watching these shows and they're watching it in the time slots and on the networks that they're actually airing. And the big one is this, sports. Now I'll admit, we all know a few people who have watched some game after it happened due to some work or family event. But the vast majority of people who are watching live sports, they are watching it as it happens. And if your targeted customer base fits the profile of any of the people watching any type of these programs, then I believe you should seriously consider running ads on broadcast TV to reach them. Now to help you craft a successful TV campaign, I'd like to give you several steps that you should follow. And the first is this, determine your marketing goal. This step is as old as time itself and is true for any ad campaign that you might be considering. You must always start with a goal. You've got to ask yourself, what is it that you're trying to accomplish and why? And to help you set strong goals, I believe you should use the SMART method of goal setting. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. Specific. Now each goal should lay out exactly what you hope to accomplish in exact terms. Measurable. You must be able to measure and know if the goal was even met or not. Achievable. Goal should be realistic, something that you can actually achieve. Relevant. You know, the goal needs to be related to an important function of your business, something like sales and time bound. You need to set a specific time by which that goal should be achieved. Now, once you've set your goals, the next step is to determine who your audience is. Who is it that you're actually trying to reach? And please don't say anyone and everyone. Only the mass marketers like Walmart, Target, and Amazon can actually say that. You need to truly know who your customers are and what motivates them. And once you know who your most prized customer actually is, then you can go to work researching the stations, researching the programs that will reach those customers. Which leads me to the next step. You've got to do your research. Your local TV rep will be more than happy to provide you with the latest viewer stats and you need to resist the urge to just buy ads on a program because you like to watch it. You need to make sure that your customers are actually watching that program too. Only then should you ever run that ad. Now this next step might be the most important of all. You need to tell a compelling story then be authentic. All the leading brands start with a clear vision and a core idea of why they even exist. From there, they create their story that captures the essence of who they are and what their mission is and what the benefit is. If your message is real, meaningful, and beneficial, it will generate a positive response. And this is true regardless of whatever advertising medium you're using. Now comes the fun part. You get to create your ad. Once you have chosen the format of your ad, 
it is time to get it produced and you've got a lot of choices when it comes to TV. Now if you've got the skill and the gear, you can create it in house. You can always hire a freelancer, you could go out and hire a video production company, or you could even hire an agency like me. What is critically important is that you create an ad that will communicate your message and tell your story. You need to tell your story so that it's meaningful, memorable, and relevant to your targeted customer. And the final step, you gotta track your results. Now just like any other campaign out there, it is really important for you to track the results of your campaign. You need to keep an eye on the metrics, such as store traffic, website traffic, leads, phone calls, and of course the big one, sales. You will never know if the campaign is successful or not unless you are tracking to determine the effectiveness of your ads. This will allow you to make much better decisions about your future ad campaigns. Hey, so let's recap how to build that broadcast TV campaign. First, you need to focus your dollars on those top programming choices. Live local news, national news, news magazines, and live sports. Next, this is when you go to work building the campaign. First up, determine that marketing goal. Next, determine who your target audience actually is. Do your research. Thoroughly analyze the stations and programs to make sure your targeted audience is actually watching those programs. Then, make sure you have a message that is compelling, authentic, and loaded with consumer-focused benefits. Get your ad produced and on the air. And finally, track those results. You know, following these tips can help your broadcast TV campaign reach its greatest potential and generate the leads, traffic, and selling opportunities that you are looking for.